Well, Ma, so I tried to upload a picture of my solution directly into the text box, but that didn't work. So here I am doing a video recording of my solution. So basically, yes, for what the derivative of the square root of x over e to the x is. And so I basically color coded uh, how the quotient rule works and all the functions that apply to figure out the derivative. So the high function in this case, or the function in the numerator is the square root of x. So if you use the power rule, you get that the derivative of the square root of x, which I like to write as x to the 1 half power, is 1 half x to the 3 halves. Um, the derivative of the low function, or the function in the denominator, is uh, e to the x, right? And then the derivative of that is just itself, e to the x. So the way I like to remember the quotient rule is low d high minus high d low over low squared. I think it's just a really fun way to like remember something that involves a lot of components. So basically, we're going to take this saying low d high minus high d low over low squared to solve the derivative. Okay. So low d high, so take the low function itself, e to the x times the derivative of the high function, which we said was 1 half x to the 3 halves minus high, so the high function, square root of x itself, times the derivative of the low function, which is e to the x, all over the low function squared, which is just e to the x squared. And then I just simplified it by uh, factoring out e to the x in the numerator and canceling one of the e to the x in the denominator so we could get rid of the e to the x in the numerator. And then I just did a little more algebra to get the final answer of x square root of x over 2 minus square root of x over all over e to the x. I hope this helps.